Looking for an lighter alternative to your typical gaming notebook charger that weighs a brick and offers no extra charging ports? Or maybe you want to charge two or three Windows-based or MacBook Pro notebooks at the same time? You may want to consider the SlimQ Way, one of the upcoming brands that offers high wattage chargers for hungry power devices like gaming, MacBook Pros with its DC port and two USB-C ports right here. Meet the F. 150 and the F240. Build to impress and kill. GAN stands for gallium nitride, a material used in semiconductors. You guys may know it as computer chips that produce less heat at higher power draw and deliver better conversion efficiency from your wall AC to DC in return for more power delivery. Another benefit is most of the parts can be tightly packed together, making it for a compact solution like you see right here. Let's start with the 150 watt version right here, which is palm size. And on each side right here has this texture wrap, which helps with holding it so you don't feel plastic hot and you can just pull it from your wall socket and keep it into your bag. So looking at the ports right here, on the top you see is the two USB-C ports right here that is capable each 100 watts output and the main highlight of the charger is definitely the DC port right here that outputs 150 watts. Now the package comes as follows with these accessories right here. The first is definitely the important DC to DC cable right here. This is braided, tangle free and they give you the silicone wrap right here to do some simple cable management. And aside from that, these are the extension cable and the adapters right here. So they included Oceanic, EU, Denmark, uh, Korea as well as UK right here. So I'm going to show the prongs one more time right here. So it's using US prongs like I show you just now. Flip it in, flip it out. And you can actually use the sockets right here by sliding over it and locking into position. And when you're done or going to another country, you can just slide it off and pack it. So they give you a wide variety right here and the extension cable also works with the same principle. So you slide the cable into the socket, lock it into position. Then on the other end, you can actually use the US prongs or you can attach like the UK adapter, EU adapter or even oceanic adapter right here. So wherever you travel around the world, it got you covered without the need to get travel adapters. Next is the 240 watt version right here, which is almost the same size as my hand. And you can see on the size, it has this texture grip and on the bottom is the technical information. Now it may look bigger in size, but rest assured, this is way smaller than this charger right here. This is provided by Illigear. This is 180 watts, so Yumi has to carry this brick every day to work and just look at the size comparison. The thickness is the same, but look at the space saving right here. Look at the amount of space saving right here thanks to gun technology. So let's put back the old technology and focus on the new tech. So on the back end right here is your AC two pin port right here. And on the front is where all the juicy bit is. So this port right here is 240 watts DC and the two type C ports right here, each is capable for 100 watts each. So the package comes similarly like the earlier charger. You have your DC cable right here uh, with Velcro strap. And they also provide you all the international sockets right here that I mentioned earlier. The only difference is the extension cable right here. So the extension cable right here uses the two pin AC to the wall socket right here. This is the integrated US prongs right here. But again, if you are overseas or whichever country you are using or going to, you can always use this uh, adapter sockets and put it like so. And this one can cross to the 150 watt version as well. So well packaged, I would say. Before we talk about the charger performance, SlimQ do sell fast charging cable that is compatible with the chargers that I feature in this video as well as other chargers in their lineup. First is this SlimQ USB 4 PD 3.1 240W 40G cable is a mouthful, but this is a meter long, nylon braided, tangle free cable, flex resistance on the USB ends right here. And this one can support 8K 60Hz display and transfer speeds of 40 gigabits per second. That's about uh, Thunderbolt 3 as well as USB 4.0 Gen 3 X2 speeds. Now this cable right here is amazing. It can support charging up to 240 watts 
at 48 volts at 5 amps with the built-in e-marker chip right here and I validate it, it is as advertised, the e-marker chip right here do work. Second is definitely the adapters right here. So these are the DC adapters that you may want to purchase that is compatible with your laptop. Like for example, they support a wide variety of brands. You have HP, Dell, Levon, Lenovo, sorry, almost mistaken right there. You have Asus, not Asus, Asus, Sony, Acer, Delta, Toshiba, Thunderbolt, Thunder Robot. I never heard that brand before. Uh, Mac Gray, uh, Mac Knight, MSI, Razer, you name it. So if you need to use this charger right here and use the DCs, you have to get the extra DC to DC converters right here. And if your converters are not included in the list or their website, do let them know so they can prepare in the future. So the quality is amazing, it's built tough. So I'm gonna show one example right here. So this one is definitely the Lee Novo right here. All you have to do is you attach this cape, this adapter right here to your DC cable and you're go good to go. Let's say you have a different laptop. No, no worries, just, you know, do it like Legos. You know, just pull it out and pull it in and you are good to go. Not too bad, I would say. So let's talk about the performance. The DC port right here is rated for 150 watts maximum output, but my test show it can do 180 watts better than advertised. While each USB-C port right here is rated for 100 watts maximum output charge each individually via Power Delivery 3.0, my test show it can do 104 watts on each port better than advertised. Again, I'm stress testing with a dedicated power delivery loader, so don't mimic what I am doing. I'm trying my best to review, validate and test so you guys have some assurance when doing the purchase. Now, I also try a few ports configuration, starting with DC and at either one of the USB-C ports, I gotten 182 watts maximum output. Second is two USB port right here. I gotten a total of 123 watts. Still fine in my opinion, not the 150 mark. That's fine. And lastly, I try three ports simultaneously. I gotten a total of 184 watts maximum output. And running three ports right here, the temperature is about 56 C or Celsius on the hot point right here. Again, don't do the extreme test that I'm doing. I'm just helping to validate for you guys. But again, Overall, my test, it does perform as advertised, but here is a detailed diagram of how each port's voltage, amperage, and wattage. Looking at the second charger right here, the DC port is rated for 240 watts maximum output. My test showed it can do 244 watts better than advertised. While each USB-C port right here is rated for 100 watts charging via Power Delivery 3.0, each of them, my test shows it can do 102 watts on each USB port better than advertised. Now, I also tried like the earlier charger, various port configuration to check its uh, maximum output. First is DC and either one of the USB-C ports. I got a maximum of 248 watts maximum output. Second is two USB ports only. I got a maximum of 190 watts maximum output. Still good in most situations. And lastly, three ports simultaneously used together. I got a total of 250 4 watts maximum output, which is better than advertised. And running 3 ports, the maximum temperature I got was around 66 C. Again, that is the worst case scenario. You will never go anything higher because that's what I tested for at least 15 minutes. I would say overall, my test, uh, from my test, I would say it's performed as advertised in how it's designed. But here's a detailed diagram of how each port is maxed out and a total power output when two or more ports is used as well as a quick summary of each port's voltage, amperage, and wattage. So before I continue, here's a simple size comparison again. This is a 180 watt charger that comes with the Illigear gaming notebook that Yumi is using for her full-time job. So this is the 150 charger that my test can show it does 180. Look at the size. It's half the size of the charger right here while being just a few millimeters tall. Whereas the 240 right here is more powerful than 180 right here. Look at the size difference right here. It's a lot of finger space on the top and one finger space on the side while being slightly thicker, just like half of my finger width right here. So maybe that's not a good comparison. No worries, I have something that a lot of people have, which is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Maybe not a lot of people, but sorry, I just provide for a comparison. So looking at the 150 charger right here, it's just half of the Apple logo right here. Whereas the 240 version right here is resting on the camera bump. It's going to fall, I'm going to hold it. You can see how much finger space 
on the sides right here. So very compact thanks to gun technology. Keeps everything tightly, lightweight, and more importantly, offering uh, better efficiency and high-powered charging. Now, I would say these two chargers right here is the best price to performance ratio when it comes to the most powerful offering in the market and it will last you a long time because compared to the typical charging brick that weighs a ton, you have no way to detach the cable and, and let's say if this cable has a problem, you had to buy the whole brick again whereas like the earlier part I showed you the USB cable right here, not USB sorry, the DC cable right here, you can just uh, you know, replace them easily. And this one don't have extra two USB-C ports, so you are limited unlike the two chargers right here. So the 150 comes just under 90 USD and the 240 right here just comes under 140 USD, making them very affordable. And the chargers right here features eight levels of safety protection. I would recommend getting them. But the question is, which one should you pick? So here's the scenario. The 150 right here is suitable for one gaming notebook and one MacBook Pro and maybe the Type-C to charge power stations, power banks, drones and camera. Whereas the 240 right here is for serious firepower and I mean serious firepower because this charger right here can charge one gaming notebook and two MacBook Pros. And this is good because if you are a photographer like me who travels kilometers away from home, sometimes 100 kilometers, maybe for the Americans like what, 150, 200 miles, far, far away. You have multiple editors trying to edit the same day edit, uh, uh, edit like for same day wedding edits, photography, slideshow. You know, you don't want to have multiple charger and limited uh, wall sockets. You can have one charger instead of uh, three chargers doing the same task while providing better efficiency charging to all your device. And maybe let's say you're not into wedding, that's fine. If you're into camping life, caravan life, you know, you have your solar panels going to your power station and your power station has limited slots. No worries, you can use this charger to, you know, charge, you know, power uh, stations like this Oracle right here, very big. You may be something compact like this Cyberpunk power bank that I reviewed recently and other USB devices. So a lot of flexibility with the DC and the two USB port right here. I would recommend getting them based on your needs. And thank you to SlimQ for providing me these charges right here. They have no way of influencing this review, nor seeing what I have done with their charges because I stress test these charges right here and I try to overload them. But they perform really, really good. So these are my recommendations. I'll provide links in the video description so you can check it out for you know available price and discounts. Till then, thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe for more great texts like this. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next review. Ta-da!